Amate paintings are a traditional Mexican folk art style of painting that is created on handmade paper. Folk art is a style of art that doesn't have one definition. According to the Museum of International Folk Art, generally it is handmade, may be decorative or useful, but importantly it is traditional, reflects a shared cultural aesthetic and social issues that is for the people. So while we are currently looking at and focusing on Mexican folk art, there's American folk art, African folk art, Asian folk art, and so on. Amate paper is made from the bark of fig, nettle, and mulberry trees in San Pablito, Mexico. The fibers of the tree are boiled for hours and then stripped into sections on a flat surface, which are then laid out and pounded down with a rock to essentially mush the fibers together to create a paper. It is then left to dry in the sun. The paper sometimes takes on its own special shape and form, creating its own type of artwork. Sometimes artists paint on this special paper. We are going to focus on creating our own paintings inspired by amate paintings and Mexican folk art. First, we need to look at some details and identify some of the special aspects or characteristics we see in these amate paintings. When we look at these paintings, we want to notice and observe various characteristics. So, first, most of these paintings include a border. This border could be a pattern or a very consistent line that goes all the way around the painting. Next, we notice how there isn't a whole lot of perspective. While we can tell that the artists are trying to depict a sense of space, overall the space is flattened. However, we can see particularly on the buildings that there is a use of one or two point perspective. There's usually a lot happening in these paintings. It is often depicting a day or occasion within a village. For some, we can see that the artist is referencing harvests, a wedding, or a rodeo. We can also see that one piece may be more decorative as it depicts beautiful birds like here. While the paintings may not have a lot of details like faces or folds in clothes, leaves on trees, etc., we can still see a lot of detail through the use of pattern and lines. Notice how the artists have used repetitive lines, colors, and patterns throughout their work. Lastly, and probably most notably, is the use of color. Here we can see tons of beautiful, bright, vibrant colors. And there's a whole lot of contrast happening with this bright use of color. The colors are vibrant, saturated, and opaque, meaning that we can't really see the background through the color. Consider how there's a lot of information in each Amate painting. The artist is visually telling a story about a certain day, and as we can see, there is a lot to tell. Think about what you want to tell the viewer in your piece. Consider what will be in the background, what will be in the middle ground, and what will be in the foreground. What colors will you use? Will you include buildings, hills, animals? You can be as imaginative as you want. It might be helpful to think about your summer or even your spring break. Did you go somewhere? What kind of transportation did you use? What did you see? What did you experience? What did you smell? These are all things that you might want to include in your painting. You will start by first looking at other folk art by Mexican artists. This will help you to understand the use of color and colors that are important and indicative in Mexican folk art. You'll do an artist study or art study on Mexican folk art. 